In this video, we're going to look at exponential change, which could include exponential growth or exponential decay. And we're going to get exponential change when we have a differential equation that looks like this. This is a separable differential equation. Uh, we can separate the variables by dividing both sides by y and multiplying both sides by dx. And this differential equation here simply says that the rate of change of y is going to be proportional to y itself. Uh, that's going to happen anytime we have like a population where the number of people or animals in the population uh, grows proportional to the size of the population. Um, it might happen with some sort of investment where the interest rate is applied to the account balance at any given time. So the growth of the investment is going to be proportional to the size of the investment um, and other such examples. And we'll look at a few of those later. We can solve a differential equation like this first by separating the variables and then integrating both sides. Um, so the integral of 1 over y is going to be the natural log of the absolute value of y. And the integral of k with respect to x is going to be kx. And don't forget we need some constant of integration there added on. And then to get y by itself we can uh, exponentiate both sides and we get the absolute value of y is equal to e to the kx plus c. Um, if we remember it, one of our laws of exponents we can rewrite this as uh, e to the kx times e to the c and uh, I refer to this as c1 because it's a little bit of a different constant. It's actually the same c uh, but we're using it a different way so we'll denote that with that one there. Um, and then to get y by itself, we have to get rid of these absolute values. So we'll rewrite this here. I want to put the e to the c first. And the definition of absolute value uh, is going to be the, the positive if it's y or the opposite if it's um, negative. Um, so we can get rid of that, but we know then that it's going to be a positive or negative e to some constant. If we want, we can actually solve for a particular solution here. We can figure out what this constant's going to be. Um, this is a, a special case where we don't have to know exactly what's going on, but the initial conditions, when x equals 0, uh, we're going to have the initial y is equal to positive or negative e to the c times e to the k times 0, uh, which means that our initial value is just going to be that constant. Um, in this case, the e raised to the constant, which it itself is going to be a constant. So we can rewrite this then as y equals the initial value of y times e to the kx. k is going to be a, a growth constant here. Um, that k will depend on the situation. It'll depend on how fast it's growing. It might depend on the initial value. Um, and, and we'll see in a few different examples what that k is going to be. For more on exponential growth and decay, you may want to watch the video on applications of exponential growth.